to intermediate level English language arts. And now you move on to the next topic, making a topic outline. All right. This is going to be your writing class, right? So this is what you're going to be doing for this week. This is your write-up for this week. What are the objectives of this lesson? Number one, learn how to create a topic outline. Number two, learn how to group ideas to create a draft for a much bigger written output. All right. So, okay. Basically, what a topic outline is, is it's a, it's a pre-write. It is a pre-write. But the thing about this kind of pre-write is it's a very important pre-write for when you are making something much bigger. For example, you're going to create a research paper, right? You would have to make a topic outline. For example, you're going to make later on when you grow up, you're already in high school or you're already in college. You're going to create your thesis, right? You would need to make a topic outline. How will you do that? So first things first, guys, an outline is basically a brief and orderly description of facts and ideas, and they are related to each other. But a topic outline is an informal kind of outline. It uses phrases instead of complete sentences. It is divided into three different things. You get divided into headings, subheadings, and details. You have to understand these first. Headings, subheadings, and details. Headings is like your main topics. The main topics of your of your of your uh, what do you call this research, or of whatever it is that you'd like to discuss that you're writing about. Headings are the main ideas. Subheadings are the ideas, the smaller ideas of the big ideas of your main ideas. These are subheadings, and details are well details. These are the details of the different subheadings. The headings are categorized, um, are categorized or written as one uh, Roman numeral one, two, three, four, five, depending on how many headings you have. Roman numerals, you've studied that in math, right? The subheadings will be categorized by capital letters, capital letter A, B, C, and so on. And then the details will be Hindu Arabic numerals one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. This is how you make a topic outline. So here I have an example of a topic outline over here. This is a topic outline about coffee. So, for example, I'm going to be writing about coffee, right? My three main ideas, my three headings are the kinds, the health benefits, and the dangers. These are the three main ideas, right, that I have, okay? And then for each of them, they have different subheadings. For example, for kinds, I have Arabica and Robusta. For health benefits, I have good for the heart and keeps you awake. For dangers, you have heartburn and hyperacidity. These are your subheadings. They should be related to your headings. And then for each of those subheadings, I have details about it. Example, Arabica is smoother and more expensive. Robusta is more bitter, but cheaper. For health benefits, right? For good for the heart, it is it keeps the heart healthy. It regulates, it regulates your heartbeat. And then if it keeps you awake, under keeps you awake, it blocks adenosine or sleep molecules. And being awake means more time to work for work or other activities. Okay. How about for dangers? For heartburn, right? My details there are too much causes heartburn. And then heartburn causes difficulty in breathing. For hyperacidity, I have number one, coffee has a lot of acid. Number two, hyperacidity causes tummy aches and acidic taste. Right? Notice, none of them are sentences. None of them are paragraphs. No, rather they are phrases or just words. Basically, a topic outline is this. It is just a draft, a pre-write of sorts, of what you plan to write there. How it works is you're going to create a topic outline like this, and then you're going to fill in the details. So it's going to be separate um, paragraphs. For example, kinds will be one paragraph, Health benefits would be another paragraph, and then dangers will be another paragraph, right? Or, or you could have two paragraphs um, for each heading. So one paragraph for Arabica, one paragraph for Robusta, one paragraph for good for the heart, one paragraph for keeps you awake, then one paragraph for heartburn, and one paragraph for hyperacidity. One thing's for sure, kids, right? This is how you categorize your thoughts, your ideas. That way, you are able to organize your thoughts properly, and you are able to properly uh, say each thing or explain each thing thoroughly. 
you would need this, a very important thing that you would need when you are going to be writing research papers later on. How later later on? Well, grade 5 later on. Alright? So, okay. When you're writing a topic outline, consider these things. So number one is write the title of the topic outline, of the outline at the top of the page. Just like what I did, coffee was in the top right, uh, top middle, right? Let's just go back really quickly to the slide over there, right? You see it? Coffee, right? And then um, number two, select the main ideas or the main details of the paragraphs and make the main points or headings. Label them with Roman numerals 1, 2, 3, and so on. A main point must have at least two. Take note, there should not be one subheading, no. There should be at least, so that means two or more, subheadings to support the details. So make sure that you put at least A and B for each heading. All right? Next, label details with Hindu Arabic numbers, one, two, three, and so on and so forth. All right? And if you'd like to even go more specific, you could even add A, B, C under each of those Hindu Arabic. So example, under number one, you could go A, B, and C. So let's just go back really quickly to my example. So for example, Number one, smoother under Arabica. Under kinds, there's Arabica. And then Arab under Arabica, there's smoother. And then I could go even more specific details like it feels smooth to your mouth, to your, to your, to your tongue. It's, it feels smooth to your, to your esophagus, down to your stomach. That's how you could do it. Okay? Next. All right? Do not use a single subheading. No. There should be at least two. So that means two or more. And do not, do not, do not end headings with periods or other punctuation marks. Everything else can be sentences. Can, can. Especially, for example, the details. But for the headings, no. They should be really just words or phrases for that matter. Okay? For the headings. Now, what will you do? For your pre-write, guys, think of anything interesting that you'd like to research about. Take note. Yes, you have to research about it. So, for example, coffee. I have to research about coffee. List down three general things about it. So, for example, for me, I list down three different things. Like, example, kinds of coffee or benefits about coffee or, or negative effects about coffee. Stuff like that. And then list down two about each of the general things that you've researched. Think of two things. Like, for example, two different kinds, two different benefits, two different negative effects. And then for each of those, list down two details. Explain thoroughly what do you mean by it, right? For your draft, right, make a three-point topic outline. That means your, your heading should be three. Only three. Three headings. Okay? That's Roman numeral one, two, and three. So there must be three headings. There should be two subheadings for each heading. So that means all in all, there should be six subheadings. Two for subhead for heading one, two for subhead for sorry, two for heading one, two for heading two, and two for heading three. And then there should be two details for each subheading. So that means, right, there should be at least 12 different kinds of subheading. So that means two for subheading A, two for subheading B, okay, for each, all right, okay. And then when you're done with your draft, right, go to your publish. Yes, you will skip uh, revise and... Uh, edit because, well, you're not really doing much here. You're not really creating paragraphs or sentences. Rather, you are sticking to just merely words or phrases. Take note, you can write sentences, but not paragraphs. And it should be not more than one sentence. So, for example, in the details, you could have one sentence, and that's just it for the details. The heading, no sentences in headings, only words or, par or phrases. So, for your publish, write the three point topic outline about your chosen topic. So again, same instructions, three headings, two subheadings for each heading, and two details for each subheading. Do not write more than one sentence or paragraphs. No, no, no. You can have one sentence, but only for the subheading and the details. Only. Write topic outline as the activity title, right? The title must be your topic. So for example, you're writing about pandas. You're writing about birds. You're writing about, I don't know, chocolates. It's up to you. Right? And then write it in your notebook or pad paper. And then afterwards, send it online. Okay? This pretty much ends our topic for writing a topic outline. Again, topic outline is a very important thing because it prepares. It's a pre-write. Pre-write for something much bigger. Usually a research paper. Alright? Okay. 
With that, this ends our, our lessons for making a topic outline.